Okay, when we last left off, we had this on the screen right here. And uh, let's make a slight change. Uh, I want to add the word all, meaning that if they click on all, they get to see all the information. So of course, all doesn't exist on our database. So what we have to do is we'll manually add all. So let's see here. Up here, I'll do an add on radio button again. I'll call this radio button all. Okay. And then I'll have to give it its own text. So I'll say here radio button set text to all. Well, let's save it. And let's run it. And there it goes. Good, good. Oh, that's not good. So the next thing is let's control this by giving this each its own toggle group. So that's what we need here. Okay, so let's close this and let's define a toggle group up here. Like I can do it right here above this method so I can just see it. I'll say private toggle, toggle group, call this TG for scenes is equal to new toggle group. Okay, so we brought that to life. And since I need to do this twice, meaning I need to do it for here, I need to do it here, I don't want to repeat the code. So when I don't want to repeat code, guess what we do? And we basically create a function where things we have things in common. Okay, so let's do that. I'm gonna say here. Um, what do I call this function? Uh, I'll call it um, private void setup. Set up, and it's gonna take in a radio button as an argument. I'm going to tell it RB. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to say here RB RB set toggle group to this toggle group that we defined up here, TG Cuisine. So again, the reason I'm creating this function is because I'm going to be doing some of these twice. So what do I mean by that? Um, if I go here on this line, I'm going to say set up and I'm going to pass it RB a all. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing in a loop when I'm going to say here, set up RB. If I didn't do this technique with the function, I'd have to write this code twice. And I'm actually gonna put more code in here as we go on, but I just want this area to be as clean as possible. Uh, let me close the previous screens and let's just test to see if that worked. Okay, let's click on all, let's click on T, and that's working, looking good. All right, we'll continue the rest of the rest of the other formatting in the next video.